वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्विक लर्निंग सो नाउ आवर टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज लिक्विडेटेड डैमेज वर्सेज पेनल्टी सो इन दिस टॉपिक यू विल फाइंड अ कंपेरिजन चार्ट डेफिनेशन की डिफरेंसेज एंड फाइनली आई विल कंक्लूड माई प्रेजेंटेशन सो इन जनरल वन पार्टी पेज द अमाउंट ऑफ कंपेंसेशन फॉर द लॉस इनकर टू द अदर पार्टी वेन दे इज अ फेलियर इन द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट so sometimes parties mutually decide the amount to be payable as a compensation if the amount so specified indicates a fair and genuine pre estimate of the damages they may take place because of the breach and it is called a liquidated damages however if the amount is not proportionate to the damages then the court treats it as a penalty so comparison chart so basically the meaning of liquidated damages is like a it is amount that the contracting party fixes during the formation of a contract which is a fair period estimate of the portable loss that would occur as a result of the breach and the meaning of penalty is that is refers to the sum determined in the contract to be paid in case of a breach but the amount is not proportionate to the damage likely to occur so estimation of loss in liquidated damages is it's like a estimation of loss that may arise due to the breach of a contract and in penalty it's like no such estimation then the objective of liquidated damages is to determine the maximum amount of compensation or loss and the objective of penalty is to discourage parties to break the contract then the imposed in liquidated damages is like for compensation but in penalty is for punishment and finally we have a order so the order means we pay the actual amount of loss but within the limited pre specified and in penalty pay the actual amount of loss so the definition of liquidated damages is like the liquid dam uh, liquidated damages are an appropriate pre estimation by the contracting parties of the loss that may occur in future due to the breach of a contract so the breach of a contract can be due to the failure of one party to perform the contract so it is the maximum limit of loss this limit is predetermined which is to be paid as compensation by the party responsible for the breach to be aggregated party so it is an approximate calculation of the amount which the party assume will compensate for the breach of contract so this clause is not just effective but the amount so fixed is recoverable so in other words liquidated damages are a convenient fair honest and reasonable approximation of loss so example is like some dish of borrowed 1 lakh from ashwarya and agreed to pay One lakh and twenty thousand as damages if she fails to pay the entire sum on the due date. Now Disha defaults in the payment of the money. So in this case, Ashwarya is entitled to recover from Disha such compensation as the court may decide as reasonable, but that would not be more than one lakh and twenty thousand. So finally, the definition of penalty is to penalize is to punishment. so the penalty has nothing to do with estimation when the sum decided by the contracting party for the breach of contract is not reasonable for example it is double or triple the amount of loss also it is used to compel the other party to perform the contract then it is a penalty so example of penalty is like vishal agrees to pay 20000 to amit on or before january 18 2022 however he fails to make payment of the sum at the stipulated time so he agrees to pay 30000 as a liquidated damages so the additional 10000 is a penalty because it is extravagant finally the key differences between them like both liquidated damages and penalty are payable when there is a default in the performance of a contract there are several differences between these two number 1 when the amount payable on the breach is so large that it is far more than the 
probable loss or damage, it is a penalty. And on the other hand, when there is just an equitable estimation of the amount payable for the poor payable damages suffered by an injured party, it is liquidated damages. Number two, as you have seen in the case of electricity bills, there is always a due date on or before which we have to pay the amount of bill. If we fail to pay that on the due date, then we are bound to pay a further sum to QT services. In such a case, the further sum that we pay is a kind of punishment for late payment, which is ultimately a penalty. So number third is no matter what expression the parties have used in the contract, it is not considered final. That is to say, the court must identify whether the amount so predetermined in the co contract is usually a penalty or liquidated damages. So if the amount decided is huge, the court will treat it as a penalty irrespective of the team term used by the parties in the contract. So another difference is the point of whether the amount specified is either a penalty or liquidated damages is a question of construction which is determined to the, on the basis of the contractual terms and circumstances of the case, determined at the time of formation of the contract and not at the time of its breach. Then the bottom line is the crux of the penalty is the payment of the specified money as fear or intimidation of the party that is in the default of the terms of the contract, that is the offending party. So basically, the penalty is imposed to force a party to perform the contract, while the crux of liquidated damages is the re reasonable period estimation of the damage which is likely to occur to the injured party. So, conclusion is that by and large, the difference between both of them is as per English law only. However, there is no such distinction considered in India. So, Indian courts are required to determine the amount of actual loss Further, this amount is awarded to the aggravated party. However, this amount must not be the more than amount prefixed by the parties in their contract. Hence, the courts don't bother about their difference, but they focus on awarding just an equitable compensation to the injured party. The compensation should not be more than the sum which the parties have decided for hand. So that's all for my side. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.